We have seen a lot of ballers take centre stage this season. Jude Bellingham, Harry Kane, Mo Salah and many other players across leagues. But there are some players whose efforts appear to be going under the radar. But not anymore. We want to celebrate those players today. These are the 10 most underrated players this season. We'll begin with Darwin Nunez. The Uruguayan didn't have the best first season in the Premier League, but he's definitely picked up this campaign. But he somehow doesn't seem to be getting his flowers. In the game against Chelsea, he hit the woodwork four times, becoming the first player to do that in a single game in the Premier League since those numbers started being collated. And he still managed to provide an assist that day. He's also the first Premier League player to hit double figures for goals and assists in all competitions this season. Nah, you just gotta give this boy some credit. Another striker who's been massively underrated this season is Alexander Isak. Yes, he struggled to stay fit since he moved to England, but that's even what makes his numbers more impressive. He scored 10 goals in 17 Premier League appearances this season. That's just four off the top scorers. How impressive is that? It's almost like he'll certainly be in the golden boot race right now if he hadn't had injury problems. And this reminds us so much of Pedro Neto. This guy suffered a hamstring injury which kept him out for nine games this season, but he's still up there as one of the most creative players in the Premier League, just one off the top assist provider. He has provided 11 assists and scored three goals in 16 appearances in all competitions this season. 14 goal contributions in 16 games. Damn, if this was any of the big names, they would have thousands of articles written about them already. This guy went eight straight Premier League games dropping a goal or an assist. And it doesn't matter who you are, he does it against the great and the small. Neto has had goal contributions against every single one of the big six teams he's played this season. City, Liverpool, Man United, and you can even throw Aston Villa and Newcastle in there. The Portuguese forward certainly deserves more credit than he currently gets. Another forward player we certainly have to throw in the mix is Elijah Adebayo. It's been a minute since we had a striker named Adebayo tear up the Premier League, but the Luton Town number 9 seems to be living up to his name. Although playing for a relegation-threatened side, Adebayo is in the top 10 in the Premier League Golden Boot race. He also scored a hat-trick against Brighton, which made him the first Luton Town player to hit three in a game in the history of the Premier League. Nah, the 26-year-old England-born Nigerian striker definitely needs more recognition. And you know who else needs more recognition? Latoro Martinez. This guy is currently tearing the Serie A apart, leading the golden boot race by some distance and also possibly leading his team to another Scudetto. But he somehow doesn't seem to get his flowers, especially outside Italy. The Argentine is currently behind only Harry Kane in the European Golden Shoe Race. But he's never been put in the early Ballon d'Or conversations, while the top scorers in other leagues are always involved. Nah, Latoro is just massively underrated, and that should certainly not be so. Let's now take a break from forwards. Wataru Endo is another guy who has been massively underrated this season. The flashy midfielders like Bellingham, De Bruyne, and even Rodri get the hype. But what Endo does for Liverpool seems to always go under the radar for some reason. See, Liverpool lost Fabinho and Henderson in the same window, and Endo wasn't even first choice on the club's list to replace them. But he has come in and done a fantastic job, with Jurgen Klopp praising him every chance he gets. The Japanese should definitely start getting his flowers from the fans and the media. Let's now move further down the pitch and look at a goalkeeper who has been massively underrated. Andre Lunin. When Courtois picked up a long-term injury at the beginning of the season, Real Madrid did not trust Lunin, so they went to get Kepa on loan from Chelsea. Well, Kepa got injured and that forced the Spanish giants to use Lunin and he felt like a revelation. He has made huge saves and kept a good number of clean sheets that Madrid seem not to be missing Courtois as much as they should. With the way Lunin has performed, Kepa will definitely be heading back to Chelsea at the end of the season. The Ukrainian has been that good, but we don't seem to hear enough noise about him. His teammate Herzelu also falls into this category. 
The Spanish striker is certainly not Ancelotti's first choice, but every time he's been called upon, he has always delivered. This guy has managed 16 goal contributions in 1,424 minutes played this season. That's an equivalent of approximately 16 90-minute games. Despite struggling for game time, Hazelu is Madrid's second top scorer in La Liga this season. Now that's crazy impressive, but he never gets the adulation the likes of Bellingham, Vinny and Rodrigo get. Massively underrated player this guy. Another massively underrated player? Joshua Xerxes. If you're asked to mention outstanding youngsters this season, we're pretty certain Xerxes won't make your list. And that's crazy because he's been one of the best performing under-23 players this campaign. Thiago Motta is doing a madness at Bologna and Joshua Xerxes is one of his biggest tools. This kid has managed 13 goal contributions in 23 appearances this season, a lot of which have come against big clubs like Inter, Juve, Lazio and Milan. This lad should be certainly getting more recognition than he currently is. Finally, Daily Blind is one guy who has been massively underrated this season. Everyone thought he was finished after Ajax, but look at him, driving Girona to what could be a mind-blowing fairy tale. He is always one of the first names on the team sheet for the Catalan club. That's testament to how solid he's been this season. And let's not forget that this guy is 34 years old. If his name was Sergio Ramos, the media would have gone crazy. In addition to his defensive contributions, Daily Blind also gives you the occasional goal contribution here and there. The Dutchman already has five goal contributions in 25 appearances from the center of defense. Impressive, you gotta admit. Now you begin to wonder why Blind isn't getting Defender of the Year shouts in La Liga. You don't even see newspapers talk about him. Maybe the dailies are blind. Oh, blind. Bad joke? Okay. Anyway, there you have it, 10 of the most underrated players this season. Are there more underrated players that you can think of that should have made this list? Drop their names in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so that you never miss out on any new content. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.